Hello to this FreeCAD 016 tutorial by Phelps 3D, me, Peter Phelps. In this FreeCAD tutorial, we're going to discuss how to make basically pyramid type uh, objects. Now, part does have the wedge tool, but I find this really hard to use. This would create a four-sided type pyramid, I guess, if you knew exactly what to put into these fields. For me, this has always been really a lot of trial and error to try to create an object. Um, so you've got Zmax, min max y max min two two different versions for the x and the z there's no second y it doesn't make sense that there isn't a second y and so this is a lot of trial and error and i get frustrated using the wedge tool really quick so i'm not going to use that what I'm going to do is go back over to part design and I upgraded my my free CADs these are now I like I don't know why they didn't just stick these over here I'm just going to move them there for right now because I don't like it being three lines <coughs> and since there's space up there why not show it up there okay so we're just going to create a new sketch on the XY plane. And I'm going to create a triangle. And I'm going to set this triangle to 15 millimeter radius. Try to pin it to that and move this one there and close that. <coughs> and now I'm going to create another sketch, do another triangle. Sure, it's pinned to the center. Move that like this, and then for this one, we're gonna give it a really small number, 0 0.15, and say okay, and close. And so now we have a very, very, very small triangle, and a bigger one. And I'm going to move this sketch, the smaller one, up 50 to actually 30. And then what we're going to do is go over to the part. And we're going to create a loft. And we're going to go one to the next and create a solid. And say OK. Then we can hide the two sketches. And while we still have a very small triangle at the top, if you try to actually 3D print this, you know, it's going to come to a point, and then that's, that's where the 3D printer won't be able to print anymore, but it will come up to a point. You basically have a virtual pyramid type shape here. Because you used a very small, very small version of the, the triangle. And we can do that with almost anything else too. We can do part design. And until I save that, it's, it's going to continue being there. 
create a new sketch. So X, Y plane, so okay. I create a square. I'll say this is uh, 30. I'll say this one here is 30. And then I'm gonna make it symmetric to the planes. Now what I could do is just copy and paste that, then go in and open up the second one and just change the dimensions. So this I'm going to change to 0 0.15 and 0 0.15, close that one. Bring it up 30. And then again, back over to part. And from the loft to the create a solid. Okay. So now we have a four sided. Pyramid. And see, you still have, it is an actual little square, but it's so small that when you get up to that point, the 3D printer isn't going to continue. Once it gets past the minimum wall thickness, it's going to become, a, it's going to cut off anything higher than that. But that is the quickest way to create pyramid type shapes in FreeCAD that you can use to 3D print. Um, let's do one more. I'm going to hide that one. And let's go to part design. And new sketch XY. And let's do a, let's see, what would look be hexagon probably would be okay. This is this way. We'll set the radius there again to 15. Make sure the center is in the center. Close. And we'll, I'm just going to copy it and paste it. Open the copy. And then go. 0 0.15, changing the radius. Close, or well, let's make sure I'm in the middle there. Close, and we'll bring that up 30. And back over to part again. Create a loft, four, five, create a solid. Okay, and get rid of the sketches. So you can probably see how this could be used for a whole bunch of different things. Um, and move that. In fact, I used one of these recently for a robot that I was building for a f client, and I used it for his nose. I used the this pyramid here, but you could you could do two of these and then make like a, a one of those ornaments or whatever else you want to do. It's just the quickest way I can think of to make pyramids in FreeCAD that can be then 3D printed for your projects. But like I said, 
when it gets close to the tip, it will start to just disappear when you start doing a 3D print because of the minimum wall thicknesses. So, but this is the quickest way to make that type of object in FreeCAD. So I hope this helps you, and y you you can use just about any shape. Um, of course, you probably wouldn't do circles because you can just go to the cone. You can just take a cone and then you know switch around the dimensions on the cone. with a cone and it will already make that type of shapes just changing the radiuses so thank you for watching goodbye